Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Hearthstone on Linux. Now, this is specifically going to be focusing on Arch Linux, so if you're not on Arch, the steps are going to be just a teensy bit different. For the most part, though, they should work. You'll just have to alter them to work with whatever package management system your distro happens to have. If you're on Ubuntu, replace the Pacman-S you know, terminology with apt install. For the most part, every package that I'm going to install today should be in every distro's repos. I'm not going to guarantee it or anything, but for the most part, it should work. And I will link to some resources in the video description below that should give you instructions on how to do this on other distros. I know there are written instructions for Ubuntu and Arch. I'm pretty sure there's also instructions for how to do this on Fedora. So if you're one of those weird people who game on Fedora, I mean, seriously, all respect to you, man. <laughs> I've never been successful in gaming really well on Fedora. That's just, I mean, not that I've spent a lot of time in Fedora, but that's just the way se things seem to happen. Granted, when I use Fedora, I mean, this is completely off topic. I was, I had an NVIDIA card, so chances are that was probably my problem. So it probably worked fine now that I'm on all AMD. Anyways, so what we're going to do here is jump into a terminal. And yes, you have to be willing to use a terminal in order to do this. I, you probably could install some of these dependencies through like the GNOME software store, but some of them you'll have to use a terminal in order to do if you're using like GNOME or something or uh, Ubuntu. For Arch, I'm just going to assume you are comfortable with the terminal. So we're gonna zoom in here so you can actually see. And you need t two packages to start off. So you need to do sudo pacman and you need to you know not be like me and you know not know how to spell and do capital S and then you need to do Lutris and you need wine. Okay now I should already have Lutris installed but I don't think wine is actually installed. And you, once again I have to type in my password correctly. There we go. Now if you see this there are a ton of dependencies here uh, and yes, I do have what well, Lutris installed. I do not have Wine installed. Um, now, if you're on an Arch system that um, you've installed yourself, it's not a, an Arch dependency. You're going to have to go and edit pac, uh, pacman.com for one of those files and enable the the 32 bit libraries. You'll have to Google out how, about how to do that. I'm not going to show you in this thing, but if you don't have those things. Uh, enabled in that configuration file, you will not be able to do this because all these libraries come from that uh, library set in the Arch repos. Those are automatically installed, I believe, on Ubuntu. Because there was this big brouhaha a few years ago where they said they were going to disable them, but they, because of the brouhaha, they decided not to. So you should be able to just do this, you know, without enabling anything on Ubuntu. But on Arch, you do have to enable that in the configuration file. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes here and wait for this to install. Now you should, while we're waiting for this, you should notice that I'm better lit today. I've installed a new light here. I'm hoping that it takes care of that weird focusing issue that I was having on the last few videos. So we'll see. This shouldn't take too long. No, nope, this is gonna be just fine. This will not be the last thing we have to install, so just bear with me. So we're done there. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and quit out of this terminal here and launch, go ahead and launch Lutris. This will take a, a couple seconds. The load times on getting Lutris to actually start up, it's a little slow even on this computer, so just bear with it. Okay, Lutris was unable to detect Vulkan support for the i83x architectures. So that means, this, basically what this means is we're gonna to have to install some more dependencies. So I'm going to click on this link here, and of course that's going to 
open up a browser on a completely different uh, workspace here. And we're going to click this link here and then scroll down. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. This is the, so th this right here is we're telling you how to enable the 32 bit libraries. We've, you should have, if you've installed Lutris, you've already done this because otherwise you would not be able to install Lutris. Um, and if you're running an NVIDIA card, you need to run this package, install these packages here. I'm on an AMD system, so I'm going to run this one here. I'm going to control C. I'm going to go to a different tag, open up a browser or a terminal, zoom in so you can see, paste that in, enter a password, and uh, hit yes. So, so I have a couple of these, but not all of them. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to Lutris, hit OK, and I'm actually I'm going to quit Lutris again. I know this sounds weird, but I want to make sure that it's loading with all the dependencies that it needs. So I'm going to quit and Lutris again. Right? It probably won't be as slow, right? Okay. So the next thing we want to do is search for Hearthstone. So you want to click on Lutris over here in the sidebar, and then just search Hearthstone. Now the process for this will actually be kind of the same for any free-to-play game, especially for Blizzard.net. Now, uh, obviously if you want to install any of the other games that Blizzard has, you'd have to go through and pay for them. You can't just, this isn't some cool way to pirate software. These are actual games that, basically what this is doing is allowing you to install the actual game from Blizzard on your Linux machine. So the next thing you want to do is hit install. And now we got a couple more things to do. So we should have already done this one here at the top, but we're going to do it. We're just going to, it's not going to hurt anything to make sure. I'm going to scroll down to the, the Arch stuff again. Again, if you're in a, on Ubuntu, follow the Ubuntu um, installation processes. Processes. Uh, and like I said, I believe I've already done this, but we're going to try again. So Control V and. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall them that way just in case. And then uh, the next one we need to do is click on this one here, and then this one here, and we need to scroll down to the arch one here, and we need to copy these. And again, this if you're using a different distro, just use those, and then go back to four and do sudo pack and s, and then copy this here, and then hit yes. I know a couple of those I already had, but again, it doesn't hurt anything to reinstall them at this point. So now we just go back to Lutris and hit install. Okay, and then now you're going to want to select a place where you're going to store this on your hard drive. I'm just going to put it in, in a folder that Lutris will create itself called games right in the home directory. It's perfectly fine. And then it will create its own Hearthstone folder within there. And we just hit install. This is going to take a bit. But there, basically you're in the home stretch now. You may end up having to hit yes a couple times while it installs some fonts. But we'll see how that goes. Especially if you're... Um, so the next thing you want to do is hit continue. Yep, and then we just want to hit install a couple times. And install again. And install again. It's basically installing fonts. We're actually very close. Just a few more things that's going to install. What always surprises me about this is that it doesn't require root. Everything else on Linux, in order to install it, requires root. Now, the dependencies obviously require root, but because this is running in an emulation layer, it doesn't require root. It's always just really seemed odd to me. All right, now we're going to install battle.net. We don't want that clicked, actually. Hit next. Then this, from here on out, this is basically the same installation process you'd go through if you're installing this on Windows or Mac. 
It's just getting those dependencies first, you know. I'll probably cut some of these scenes out so that you don't have to wait through the whole process. Especially once we get to the actually installing Hearthstone because now see this here now we're going to need to just um, enter your username and password. I will be cutting this out so you don't get my username and password. Alright and we're in battle now. If you're in a window manager you'll want to make sure you're in full screen mode or if you're on DWM make sure you're in, in monocle mode or something like that. Now if, if you're in, you'd probably be better off in a desktop environment because you're going to get some weird artifacting like this thing here. I always just drag this out of the way. It doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes it does. So we want to go down here and click Hearthstone. Oh, it's not going to work. Here we, oh, here we go. Maybe. Yeah, all right. And then hit Install. And then we want to go ahead and I'm going to turn off Enable Auto Update. I want to be able to choose when things are updated and we don't need to create a desktop shortcut. Just hit start install and I'll go ahead and install this and we'll cut back to when it's done. Okay, that took about, I don't know, about seven minutes or so. Um, and yes, I'm still looking to the wrong camera. Having multiple cameras is really weird. <laughs> Anyways, now you should be able to just hit this play button. Again, make sure if you're in a window manager that you're in full screen, otherwise it probably will creep out on you. Just hit play, and bada bam, bada boom, you're in Hearthstone. That's how you install Hearthstone. Uh, it should work perfectly fine. Uh, it's a card game, so you're not going to see... Once you're done and hit quit for that first time, you'll see this here. And then you can just either select these things here if you want shortcuts, and then you can just hit close. And then anytime you want to install it, you want to install it, or no, excuse me, anytime you want to run it, you want to do it from Lutris. Okay, so you open up Lutris, and then if you navigate away from here, you should be able to uh, hit play, and then it would just launch just like normal. You don't want to launch it from somewhere other than Lutris because that's where you installed it from. If you try to install, uh, if you try to play it from somewhere else, just like the, a desktop icon, I'm not sure what would happen. It might work, uh, but I'm pretty sure that you'd have some problems. Anyways, then you can just quit this and then you're done. So that is how you install Hearthstone on Linux. Uh, I will say this, I tried to do this uh, for years. <laughs> you know, it just did not work for me. I, this is the first time, I mean, not here on camera, but just recently, this is the first time I've had any success installing anything on Wine. And it works. Uh, so the experience there has gotten way better in the last couple of years. Because like I said, I'd never been successful until this point. Now, whether or not I would be successful if I want to install another game, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on another game, we'll see. We'll, we'll experiment. But anyways, that is it for this video. I just want to say, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, it's twitter.com slash the Linuxcast, facebook.com slash Linuxcast. You can support us on Patreon, Patreon by going to patreon.com slash Linuxcast. And with that in mind, I'd like to thank Devon C. and Marcus B. for being our patrons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.